So, you see all these producers uploading beats one after another, and you think by yourself, how can they make so many beats without sacrificing the quality? Well, there's one simple answer. Workflow. You need to rewire the way you use FL Studio to make beats. Let's start by looking at the channel rack. We all start by creating a loop, right? Well, how do you make 5 to 10 beats with one loop? Let's say you created one. Then you go to the playlist and here it is. First thing, I like to clone this layer. You will understand why in a second. Then I simply split one of them so that we have all the layers separately. So then we use these separate layers to create a beat. And there you go. Now you have one beat. But now you want to create multiple beats with the same layers inside the same project. But how? Simply go to arrangement on top and choose add one. That way you get a completely clean workspace that you can use as a second beat. You can still get back to the first one by opening up the arrangement menu. Now here comes the trick. Remember when we cloned the entire loop pattern? Well now you can use this clone and split it as well. Then hold down shift and select all the layers and now simply change the color of the pattern. Only use these patterns inside this arrangement. That way you can even adjust the midis without messing up the first beat. Now here comes the big question. Why? I usually make 5 to 10 beats like this, but I only end up using 2 or 3 projects. It's actually a way of making sure you're happy with the beats you create. Tip number 2. Save your midis. Let's take a look at these hi-hats. Awesome, now I have an assignment for you. For the next 10 beats you're gonna make, I want you to save your hi-hat patterns as a midi file. That way you can create your own library of midis that you can simply drag into the piano roll. Oh, and to create these midis, simply hit Ctrl Shift M on your keyboard and save it in the clipboard file location or wherever you want. It's that simple. And then you'll find it back in the browser. Plugins, VSTs, they're awesome, but sometimes your list becomes so big and you just can't find the one you need. Well, instead of clicking to open up this list, right click the plus icon and type in whatever you need. Then you can double click it or drag it in the channel rack. It's truly time saving. Now, if you're like me, you're using the same plugin over and over again with every project. Why don't you create one project file with all your VSTs and plugins loaded? Then you can use that project as a default template. But how do you do this? Go to File and click on save as. Then go to documents, image line, FL Studio, projects and templates. Name your template whatever you want and click save. Then go to file, new from template and here you can already see it. Now to set this as a default template, go to options and click general. Scroll all the way down until you see miscellaneous. Set the startup project to default template. That's really important. Then select your template from the drop down menu and now if you open up FL, your default template will start up. Awesome! Quick tip, learn the F keys. I'm serious, just spend 15 minutes drilling them into your muscle memory and I swear you will save yourself one hour a week. That might be one extra beat per week. Oh, another trick you need to know is go to the toolbar. Right click and scroll to switch between the tool. Just a quick way of navigating the toolbar. All right, this one, I, I just can't live without him. Double right click the ghost notes to open up that better. I mean, if you didn't knew it yet, this one is pretty cool. Last but not least, check out this free plugin. I'm 100% sure that you'll need it for your next project, I'm, I'm serious.